The remarkable thing about life is that we have a choice every day regarding the attitude we will embrace for the day. We cannot change our past. We cannot change the fact that people act a certain way. We cannot change the inevitable. The only thing we can do is play on the one thing we have, and that is our attitude. So now I'm challenging you to make the most out of this battle. Live it like it could be your last. Don't spend it negative and defeated. Enjoy today. And no matter how bad things could be in your life, there's always something you can be thankful for. Doctors and psychologists have proven that the attitude you have for the day is set the first eight minutes. So, do you want to be sad, depressed, mad, or do you want to be grateful? I'll encourage you to do it just for today. Do an experiment and really be grateful for many parts of you. Grateful for where you are right now in your life. Here you are, you're learning, you're progressing. Do mirror work. Mirror work is powerful. Talk to yourself in the mirror. Not to hurt yourself, but to love yourself. You have the power. You can think yourself into a good mood, or you can think yourself into a bad mood. You can think that you have the worst life in the planet, Or you can purposely look around and see how blessed you are and count up all those things that God has done for you. You can just get really happy and be grateful all of a sudden. It's up to you what you think. I say this all the time. Happiness is a choice. You're as happy as you choose to be. If you're unhappy, it's because you're choosing to be unhappy. Don't blame your husband, your wife, your children, or anybody else. It's a choice. See, if you had the right attitude, you could enjoy anything you do. You can enjoy mowing the lawn. You can enjoy the driving world. You can enjoy cleaning your house. You don't have to enjoy part of your life and dwell on the other part. You can just make a decision and you're going to enjoy everything you do from sun up to sundown. I guarantee it. Every single day of your life is a new day. If you want to improve a bad day, have a big dream. And I don't mean go to sleep and have a nap and have that kind of dream. I mean, see something beyond where you are right now. Have a hope. Have an expectancy. Believe that things are going to change. Believe that things will get better. Learn to smile. Learn to laugh. Enjoy the simple things in life. Enjoy right where you are in life today. If you let yourself get negative, bitter, and depressed, that doesn't make matters worse. It just draws in more negativity, so as hard as it is sometimes, it goes against human nature. But you got to get up in the morning when things are not going your way and just find something to be grateful for. If we're speaking bad things, negative things, downgrading things, critical and judgmental things, we are eating those words and they are going to fall down inside of us and make us unhappy. However, if we talk about good things, thankful things, and how much we appreciate what God has done for us, it makes us happy. So you can think yourself into a bad mood or you can think yourself into a good mood. You can talk yourself into a bad mood or you can talk yourself into a good mood. We may not be able to help how we feel, but we can control what we do. I suggest that we talk in the mirror a lot. First thing in the morning when you get up, go look in the mirror and just tell yourself, I love you. Start to connect with yourself. Forgive yourself from the mirror. Talk to yourself. I give myself permission to be great. I give myself permission to live in joy. 
I am happy. I am successful and I am prosperous. Now, please give it a try and tell me about it. Therapies in session. Peace and love.